Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use and how to create a beautiful form using the Forminator plugin. So inside this tutorial, I'm going to explore and I'm going to show you how to create a conditional form, how to use advanced features of the Forminator, which is completely free and how to use a sections or multi-step forms features from Forminator. And at the same time, how to customize your form, how to receive a message or when someone submit the form, how it landed your email address and we're gonna explore each and every single thing inside this tutorial so it will be a little bit longer tutorial than your expectation so you can grab a coffee and let's start watching and understand and explore how things work here so without further delay let's jump into my computer and here you can see the plugins directory let's add new and if I'm talking too fast, you can slow down the video. Um, if I talking or showing you very slow, you can speed up the video and you can do it easily from the this clicking on this cog icon from the video settings. Let, let's type here Forminator and click install now. Click activate and go to the Forminator from left side. So you can see there is an additional post type called Forminator. Click Forminator and it shows directly inside the dashboard. So as you can see, you can create a poll, you can create a quiz request easily here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna create our first form. Click here and you can see there is a lot of templates and those are completely free. So you have to connect it into their hub, which is WP MU Dev Hub, and then you can use this template. So let's create appointment booking form from here. Let's choose this one. So you can connect this one and you can import. But I was wondering uh, if you understand, if you uh, directly connect this one, then you're not going to understand how things work. But I'm going to show you both ways. I'm going to use the template and I'm going to show you the manual way. Do not worry about that. Click connect site. So if you are an existing user, you can select the existing user. But if you are completely new, then you can go with the new user. So I'm a new user. I have selected here because I'd like to use my another email address and wanted to show you how to create a new accounts here. Create a free account. And as you can see, it will take you to another page. You can simply use your Google account to sign in or sign up. And on the other hand, you can use your name, your email address and password. So I'm going to use the Google sign up options from here. And I'm going to choose my Google email address and then continue. So as you can see, you are being, it shows here you are being redirected to tarts.readmoment.com. So that means this proceed, when I click on proceed, it will redirect to my website. So click proceed here and it's now connecting and now it's connected successfully. So close this one and now create your first form. Click over here. And you can use any kind of form that is displaying here. So let's use our first appointment booking form, create form. Now the form has been added here and all the fields and information that has been added here. Let's publish this form. And it's published here. You can close this one. And you can create a new page, add new. And it will take us to a new page here. Now add a name here. I'll close this one test form and now type here slash for me nature or just click here or type here form and it will be displaying the forminator form because we have only created one form and on the right hand side it's displaying appointment booking form and now click publish and view this page so as you can see the form looks like this which is a very simple and minimal form now, if you want, you can customize this form. You can change the color and you can change everything from here. So now we are gonna customize this form style and we, I'm going to show you how you can customize them. Later, we are gonna explore how many fields it has and the types of features we are gonna receive when we are going to use this form. Let's navigate to the settings area. So if you landed inside the forms area, you can see there is options called fields. So right now we are inside appointment booking form. We have only one form here. Now, if I click on field, it will display all the fields that has been added here. If I click on appearance from the below the fields tab, basically the appearance will give us the color, typography, font spacing, 
and the styles that we are gonna apply inside the forms you will find everything under the appearance sections now let's click on flood or material and click publish changes now if I go to the page and reload this page here so now click over here it's working perfectly if I click here it's working fine without having any issue right so the style is different uh, the information that has been displaying which is looking a little bit different now if you want you can make your form completely different you can make any kind of styles whatever styles you want you can make it from the appearance sections now let's choose the default one here and this is the design and there is the basic styles and none if you just select none publish changes and reload here there is no styles at all just none so you can make a complete custom style by yourself now I'm not going to use custom styles I'm gonna use the forminator styles here and choose the default one if you want you can change the layouts so the layers above inputs or below inputs there is a lot of information just you need to use them properly here so these are the colors if you want to use theme color you can use the theme color from here but use the default color from Forminator at the same time if you want you can change the container color you can change the submission indicator color response success color so mostly what I did mostly when I'm working on a client projects or client side those are really not necessary so what I did I just changed the input color let's add the input color first let's add a border color for this example I'm gonna use the red border color so that you can understand and I'm gonna use background color as a like ocean color ocean blue color and click publish or change publisher and reload here so as you can see how the color reflects and how it works if I go back to my websites riyadmahmud.com and uh, go to claim free expert advice okay so if you take a look at this contact form here this form has been created using the forminator plugin without using any custom code I use here only the appearance sections from the form editor and change every single information input color select color drop down colors and everything you can change it from here and it looks like this so let's uh, see how it lo looks like how it works if I select uh, this one this one and as you can see all of the color that has been changed from forminator settings or appearance and you can see here just edit random information and there is other information here so this is exactly how you can make a forminator form really look looking professional and nice now let's go back here again and let's discuss inside the color you can see you can change the color almost every single places here you can change the color let's say input areas or input areas you can change the color inside hover you can change the color inside focus error whatever color you want you can change it I'm going to re reset them publish and I believe it will not going to reset it will just working as expected right now so now if you take a look at here if I scroll down further you can see there is an options called font let's say your website is using any Google font you can use it from here you can use let's say the field error message or input text area message you can use any kind of form literally all of the fonts are available here from Google fonts and it should be work perfectly and it's working you can change the fonts for drop down you can change title fonts you can change error message fonts everything is customizable if I go to the container you can see you can add the padding you can add margin you can add border spacing everything then field container so basically there's another options to add a custom CSS if you want you can easily add custom CSS here as well now let's take a look at here inside the behavior so when I select the behavior so behavior basically submission so after submitting the form what kind of behavior you're expecting here by default it will show you thank you for contacting us we'll be in touch shortly so if you want to redirect the user to another specific URL you can add here if you want to disable or hide that form completely it will be just hidden and sometimes mostly 
uh, people are using the redirect from if you click on this plus icon you can see some other information that can be added as well now close this one and if i click here again you can see you can add after submission a custom information here still you can add a condition here if anything uh, miss out or if anything failed it should be displaying like any other information that you'd like to display here so you can make it conditions as well and the method is ajax or page load or validation on submit validation or server side validation so it's a good practice to make ajax active and on submit because on submit they can validate instantly there is no need a server side validation here and the submission indicator so autofill security lifespan so you can uh, disable the form or disable the submission you can make uh, conditions here as well so literally they added some advanced features that i haven't seen any other forms yet but i'll definitely explore more forms in the future and share in my youtube channel and the email notification which is the most important part when someone submit the form where you'd like to receive that email so right now i have added my own email address and it will be displaying like new entry then submission id and the form name and it will gonna send me if i click here recipients or recipients then you can see the email address you can separate by using comma and add multiple email address here like if you have another co-founder or if you are the owner you want to use sales team support team you can receive or you can add all the email address by using the comma here you can also use email routing system which is a little bit of advanced but i'm just gonna use the default one and advanced as always there is a form name from email or from reply to you can use them by clicking over here it will automatically adjust their name and other information so there is conditionally there is a lot of information it cannot be explained each and every single information here but i'm just going to show you an overview how it works and integration you can integrate an api here i'm not going to do that definitely it's not necessary here for this tutorial so now we just added an overview let's submit the form and see how it looks like let's add my information and confirm now submit application so it shows us thank you for contacting us we'll be in touch shortly and now it will gonna send me an email to my business email address so let's take a look at my gmail so as you can see i just received an email uh, from my tutorial websites so as you can see for appointment booking form if i open this email you can see my email address my appointment details here and the date the time and all the informations are displaying here perfectly now let's go back to the form field and let's explore the fields here by default there is some fields that has been added here that we when we imported the form now if i click insert fields you can see there is uh, some common fields that i'm not going to explain them here but let's say for an example you want to add a separator or add a sections or page break so basically it's called page break let's click here insert fields if i drag and drop it here it will gonna add a page break inside my form and now add another field here let's add another field called website and hit enter or insert the field so you can just click apply there is no need i want to display the websites so you can uh, make it two column by placing at the left side or on at the right side and if i place or display the middle then it will gonna use as a row a single row it's not going to show us a two column here now let's make a single row as of now so if i take a look at here in websites and the prefer time so now i'm gonna use a conditional field here uh, when someone click on consent here it will receive or it will ask website url so now if i click here edit field 
and go to visibility and show this website URL when anyone click on consent is checked so the field I select here consent that there is all other fields that has been created or added previously it's displaying all of here so I'm just selecting here when I click consent or when I check the consent it will gonna display this uh, website field here let's apply and by default it will be hidden let me show you how it works reload here and let's add information next and as you can see that field is not visible here when I click on confirm it will gonna display the websites URL or websites field here so this is how it works and that's the beauty of conditional field here when we are gonna display any field based on any condition here and now if you want there is some other fields and we just explore the conditional field and at the same time we explore the step fields or it's called basically page break now if I click insert there is another options called time picker HTML capture and there is a lot of other fields that is inside the pro features but as of now it's completely fine inside the free fields they have added a lot of things including the payment gateway including slider if i select the slider you can see you can make single slider or range slider let's use the single slider here let's display the top click publish changes and hit enter so usually you cannot get all the information or everything when you're using any free form plugin or free form builder so here inside the forminator they have almost everything every necessary fills which is a complete free free of cost you, you have calculations you have a currency you have paypal rating slider like you can take ratings from your user as well which is free so I would like to request you explore this form as much as you want. It's really useful and you're gonna achieve a lot of styles and a lot of functionalities exploring this form. So if you want to make it multi-column, let's let me show you. Let's two column is easily. Let's add another one. Three column. Let's try another one. Four column. So you just drag and drop, it will be displaying multiple column here. I'm gonna delete the page break and click publish changes reload the form here and now it's, it's displaying three column form here so at the same time if you want to change the submit button or submit appointment so here is the fields you can change or you can update the submit button text and you can change or update the error message so each and every single field has some common features if i click the name field here as you can see there is field label there is settings styling and visibility so these are the four common tabs that you're gonna see every single fields from this forminator form but if i click any of them there might be some additional field let's click over here it's ha it has the same one let's click on slider so when i select the slider you can see there is a calculation field which is really useful and i believe you're familiar with the slider and we used it a uh, very specific form but if you explore uh, the form demo content and the templates you will have some understand how and when it's required to use the form and the types of features that they provide here so i would like to suggest you explore all the features all the templates from here to understand the power of this forminator form so there is a lot of discussions that i made here in this video and i hope it will be very helpful for all of you if you have any other questions please feel free to ask me have a good day bye